Thank you all for tuning in. The following is a presentation of Bald Spots Productions. Be sure to like, comment, and share. You know, subscribe, follow, whatever it is you've got to do to kick that algorithm into gear and help us reach more people. Yes, it is I, your humble host, Bill Hatch the Third, coming to you live from the Palatial Home Studios of Bald Spots Productions here in the beautiful city of Malden, Missouri. Joining me from a safe social distance all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, is my guest for today, George, I is it Aishi or Ishi? It's Ishi, kind of like Ishi, Ishi. or Ishi. It's an easy way to remember. Okay. <laughs> How you doing, George? I'm great, thanks. It's warming up in Atlanta, finally. Oh, see, and it's cooling down again out here, uh, out here in Malden. We had some pretty bad uh, winds uh, the last few days kind of the tail end of a set of tornadoes uh, that was going on around the uh, the area but not hit it didn't hit us didn't didn't even come close <laughs> nice but uh, um, I always start off with the same question who or what are you reading who or what am I reading yes what are you reading into these a, days? into a taxes <laughs> uh oh uh oh that's right it is that time of year and it's uh, no, I'll, shoot, the I'll, big actually, days. I'll show here. you. I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm reading. Um, here's one of the books I'm reading. It's called "Manifesting Made Easy." Okay. By Jen May. It's a great book. It's all about uh, things that people do. And then I'm reading another book called Two Sacks." It's about. Uh, I had a cousin that wrote this, and it's about how our family came over in the 1800s over in a boat. And there was 11 people, and they had to carry everything in two sacks to come over wow. to the United States. Wow. That's, uh, that's got to be a pretty amazing story. It's quite interesting, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Um, yeah, I love, uh, I love history. I love, uh, I love finding ways to touch the people who went before us. You know, because there there's so many lessons to be learned from them, and uh, um, and their uh, their journeys, their uh, their tales, and uh, um, what 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 yeah. was crazy back then? We didn't have the internet, but they had heard because oh, they were over in Switzerland, and you couldn't really own land; you had to rent it. Okay. And they heard that if they came to the United States, there was this place called Mississippi that had fertile, fertile ground to grow things and you can own your own land. So that was their motivation wow. to pack up 11 people from ages 69 to four to take a boat over, land in Philadelphia and walk all the way down to Mississippi. And Fascinating walk from Philadelphia to Mississippi. Then. That is amazing. Yep. yep. And the, uh, and the, the, having the uh, the fortitude to take that long walk from Philadelphia to Mississippi that's uh that's something else um yeah i i can't even walk the mile to the uh, to the grocery store uh. <laughs> what, what was fascinating well they could take they could actually use wagons and and horses till they got to Alabama and then the trail mm -hmm. went down to just a, a walking trail and they had to walk the rest of the way oh, okay so it was, Amazing. It was all Indians too. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's still uh, that's still an amazing walk. Uh, <laughs> but uh, um, yes, how about was. on uh, on manifesting uh, made easy? Uh, what's the key takeaway for it? Well, the, the key key takeaway from that it kind of aligns with what what my mind is is it's you know what you believe what you believe you can achieve and you can if you're believing correctly out to the universe as some people believe in that you're putting out signals and you attract in the things that, that, mm. that your mind thinks that you can believe. Okay. And when you, when okay. you, if you want to change your life, you have to change your beliefs, but the challenge yeah. is the beliefs are in your subconscious and how do you get to them? You know? So right. her book has some great things on how you, you can physically make changes like that, and, and that we, we do that in our program also. Okay. So well, let's get uh, into let's get into your program, uh, Millionaires by George. Um, it sounds pretty interesting that uh, that I can. Well, thank uh, that you. I can... My name is George, and I want to I want to create millionaires. You know. Yeah. 
And it's, well, who wouldn't it's want kind of, to create millionaires? I invented this concept <laughs> that's. I invented a concept that's kind of like my give back to society, and mm-hmm. so uh, it's it's pretty intuitive. And, and I was just shocked that nobody had ever offered anything like this because it's all common sense. Yeah, um, but yeah, um, you're you're helping people build nest eggs up to uh, up to one point three million was what you said in a couple of years, and uh, um, yeah, so that's just. Uh, uh, we, we, we kind of tell people that we can help anybody, we can guide anybody to make $1.3 million in two to four years just doing it part-time and they can't use their own money. Okay. Okay. Well, there's nothing quite like uh, OPM, um, other people's money. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can explain the story very easy if I can use, use you kind of as my sample. Would that be okay? Sure. Sure. That'd be fine. So here's here's... I have three questions for you. Question one, have you ever found a penny laying on the ground and picked it up? Yes. Have you ever done that? Yes, I have. Okay, question number two. Did did you ever turn that penny into $1.3 million? No, I haven't. <laughs> oh, darn, you were so close, man. It was like you were that close. But <laughs> but here's 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 the, the the common sense stuff. Number one, if you found a penny... It wasn't even your money, right? It was an investor threw it on the ground for Mm -hmm. you. Ten people walked by and you picked it up. That was actually free money just handed to you, so it's not even your own money. So that's step one. You find a penny, and then would it be hard or easy to double that penny to two cents? Be pretty easy, right? Sure. I would think so. And then two to four, four to eight, and eight to 16. If you just keep doubling that 28 times, it, it physically and mathematically equals one million three hundred forty-two thousand one hundred seventy-seven dollars and twenty-eight cents. Can't argue nice. with the math; it's common sense. Nope. Okay. So now here's the real key question: between where people are struggling with money to wealth, if you had taken that penny and doubled it twenty times and got to one point three million, would it be harder or easier to do it a second time? What would you say? Um, I would think once you get, once you get the know-how to do a, to do a doubling, it probably becomes easier. Yeah, absolutely. Because the key is you have the knowledge of what to do, right? Right. And the only thing left to do is take action and do it again. Cause you know what to do and you know, it works, correct? Mm-hmm. It's common sense. So here's what my program does. Let's assume you took a penny and you doubled it 10 times in 30 days and you got to $5.12. That's pretty reasonable. Most people say they can do that. And now you have $5.12, and you go to yard sale this weekend, mm-hmm. and you find something you know you could sell for $10, and you offer them $5.12. And they went, sure, right? And then you bought right. it for $5.12, and then you sold it for 10 Then you'd log into my system. You describe in great detail how you did that and hit enter. You could do that, right? Okay. So when you do that, here's the secret that's been missing, what I call in the universe, is when you enter that, you become part of a community where everybody's helping everybody. And as a thank you, my software then opens up and shows you all the answers from everybody else ahead of you, how they completed the step you're about to start. So you get to see from all these other people ways to double from ten dollars to twenty dollars, or twenty to forty, or three hundred sixty mm-hmm. to six forty, whatever, and you see what worked. You find one you like, you grab it, you copy it, and you do the same thing. And when you double it, you go back in, you enter, and here's how I did it from ten to twenty dollars. Enter, mm-hmm. and then your answer helps everybody coming behind you, and then you get to see one step ahead of you again how the people completed what you did. So the question is, if I gave you a 28-question quiz, but I gave you the answer to each question before you had to answer it, could you pass? Well, of course. It's mm-hmm. common sense, and that's what we've created, and anybody can do it. Once they have the knowledge, they need one other key ingredient that's called action, right? And mm-hmm. I, I say they spelled action wrong in the dictionary. They spell it A-C-T-I-O-N, right? That's wrong. Mm-hmm. 
Because if you do with what we're doing, if you take that I out of the middle of the world word, you pick it up, you move it to the front of the word, it now says, I act on a new mm. future. And that's what we want people okay. to do is get the knowledge and then act on becoming wealthy. So the only thing that's keeping people from their wealth that they don't have right now is a limiting belief that's held them back their whole life and the action once we give them the knowledge. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool, all right. Um, yeah, because once, uh, once you have the answers, then the test becomes really easy, um, at least for most Absolutely. people. Absolutely. <laughs> <So, laughs> those, okay. those that want it. Now, some people go, I still won't do it, and they'll stay where they are because, right. see – we all were born, we were born with zero beliefs, right? And so mm -hmm. as we're growing up at a young age, we, we create beliefs. And at a very early age, we developed, all of us developed a belief about money. We heard things right. like, we can't afford that. Rich people are greedy. Um, money's the root of all evil. And we heard over and over and over from our parents and teachers and people we respect and we believed them, and when we got enough data, we then formed a belief about money. Mm -hmm. And that's where your belief will stay for the rest of your life unless you replace that data. And you can't get to the data because it's in your subconscious, right? Already right. locked in. So what we did, we created a 30-day challenge that says find a penny and double it 10 times in 30 days to get to fi that $5.12, which most people laugh. They go, yeah, I could do that. But what it does, because your brain is there and your subconscious is there to protect you. So if I said, okay, take a penny and make a million dollars, your brain would go, uh, you can't do that. Don't try. And it'll self-sabotage you, right? Everybody knows that. So, but if you say, I found a penny and I want to double it to two cents, your brain goes, that can't hurt you. Go ahead, right? Plus, you already know how somebody else did it because you saw how to do it. So it ignores it. And then you do two to four, four to eight, eight to 16, 16, 32. And you do that all in a short period of time, like 30 days. Then your brain from that point on will never, ever question, can I double? It now shifts to the other side of your brain, the creative side that goes, well, how do you do it? And now you have the way how to do it because you have the proof and knowledge that other people did it. So your brain goes, okay, go ahead. So now you get your subconscious on a different tract of it can double and then how to do it. And it's got the answers. So now people can break through and go, go develop the wealth that they want. We've, we've thought this through in great detail. Now we're launching it and making it available to anybody that, that wants it. How did you, uh, how'd you come up with this, with this, with this idea? <laughs> <laughs> um, great, great question. I, I've been in sales and marketing my whole life and, and I was always selling products and to sell products, I had to, you know, find out what people's needs were and then solve their needs. But so people were always buying stuff and people are, all of us at any age or any income level are always buying stuff. So I, I, it, I, I always struggle with this question. Well, why do some people have a lot of money and a lot of people don't have a, a lot of money? And I, and I really worried. I said, is there enough money in the world? Are we going to run out of money? But then after analyzing it over a while, I said, no, there's an there's a unlimited abundance of money. So what was missing? The knowledge and the action. And I, I just, after being in sales and marketing for so long, I said, well, I can, I can build that. And so I spent a couple of years, you know, uh, building the concept on the side and now we've got the software up and running and it's it's fun it's got gamification in it and it's easy and it's inexpensive and you know it's uh that's how i came up with the idea and now and, it's now yeah. it's kind of my give back to society because um what we want is see when somebody make, gets to 1.1.3 million dollars mm -hmm. here's the question I, t I then encourage people to say, well, when you get to that, what I'd like, what I would, your next challenge is to take that first million and donate it back into society. 
Because mm. I ask people, could you live on three hundred seventy thousand dollars? I mean, um, uh, three hundred forty thousand. I mean, yeah, uh, three hundred forty thousand dollars a year. And they go, sure, I could. So I say, well, take that. Or could you live on one hundred seventy-five thousand? And everybody goes, sure. I said, then take the three forty, cut it in half, which is step twenty-five of twenty-eight, and now do it. Take start at step twenty-eight because you know what to do now, and go. 25, 26, 27, 28, make another 1.3, donate another million the next year, and that becomes your new job for the rest of your life as a philanthropic to help change society yourself. That's uh, that's actually uh, pretty awesome. Um, Thank you. You know, because, yeah. Um, yeah, because that's the, you know, the, the philanthropic side of, thing is where, of things is where a lot of people stop. You know, because it's like, uh, it's like, uh, okay, no, I need to hold on to what I have and, and uh, um, you know, so I, that I, I can laugh, live on I that. I laugh but. at that because I, I had one person, she said, well, if I get to 1.3 million, I, I don't think I could give away a million. You know, <laughs> and I, I, I chuckled and she goes, why are you laughing? I said, you still got the virus up here, darling. Yeah. I said, if you got that problem, I said, Play the game one more year and double 1.3 to 2.6. And I said, if you still have that feeling, do it one more year and go from 2.6 million to 5 million and change. I said, could you right. donate a million then? <laughs> she started laughing. She goes, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. I get it. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, it, it was, it, it's like, here's the, here's, you want to talk about taking it one step further? And really making an, an mm. individual change impact. Picture okay. this idea. Let's say uh, I'll, I'll use you as an example again. Let's say, and I'll just pick a number out of out of out of the sky. Let's say you had an IRA of a hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Okay. And a lot of people have an IRA and they're putting money away for retirement, right? But in many cases, that's years and years ahead, and they're not. They're not touching it, but it's growing right. at this little teeny percentage. What three, four, five percent mm -hmm. is what what they're paying for an Something IRA. Like that. Well, well, what if I came to you and said, "Tell you what, you got a hundred thousand dollars. What if you took and moved five thousand of that into a self-directed IRA, and then you invested that into MillionairesByGeorge.com with the goal that." you could get a 50% return on your money in a year versus the 5% you're getting. Right. You might take the risk, right? Yeah. So then what we would do, we would take that $5,000 because at a self-directed IRA, you can invest it wherever you want. Mm -hmm. And then when we get the profit, we put it right back in your IRA so it's tax-free. Yeah. And here's what we would do. We would take that $5,000, cut it in half, make 2,500, 2,500, we would take 2,500 of that and we would use that to hire disadvantaged people, homeless mm. people, people that have more month than money, people that are hurting. Mm. And we would bring them in for a couple hours a week, maybe at 20 bucks an hour. And we would teach them how to take your other 2,500 and double it to 5,000 to 10,000. Then mm. at the end of the year, we'd say, Here's a hundred percent return. Let's split it fifty fifty. So you get fifty percent return. So you got seventy five hundred. Right. And let's let's take another twenty five hundred and reinvest it to hire more people. Hmm. And then we'd say at the end of the year, here's your choices. You can either take your seventy five hundred and go yay. You can leave it in and run it for another year and let us hire more people, or you could even invest more because it's a great return. Right. Imagine if we started making millionaires that started creating those pods in every city in America or the world. Yeah. Think of the impact we could end financial poverty, as I call it, just right. by people doing the, doing a good thing. Wow. That's crazy. That is crazy. Um, well, but so, crazy smart. I'm on a mission. <laughs> well, thank you. It's common. It's, but it's common sense. It's, yeah. It's all everything I've said is common sense. You yeah. know? It's using the gift that God gave us all and it's taking action where I can act on a better future. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, a better future, that's not what, just for yourself, but for everyone. Which, uh, which is pretty awesome. It's not for me, it's, and it, you know, it's and it's not about the money. I mean, it's it's truly right. not. We have we have an affiliate program that anybody can sign up for free and refer people, and mm-hmm. they can get a passive recurring income because it, just a, a quick commercial. The way our program works, we do a free 30-day chat money mindset challenge to rescript the mind to double a penny 10 times to get to $5.12 in 30 days. Mm-hmm. And then the second and third phase, the, it's an investment of $35 a month. So if it took you two years, you would invest $840 to make $1.3 million. Is that a pretty good ROI? That's a pretty good or ROI. could be a... Could be young Gen Z that just gets out of college and they want to grow money fast. And mm-hmm. so they can either go to a, get an MBA or right. an MBG, which is Millionaires by George. And at the <laughs> end of an MBA, you, you spend two years, you spend fifty, hundred thousand dollars $100,000. You, you yeah. work full time for two years where you're not getting paid. And when you mm-hmm. come out, you get this little piece of paper that says, here's your, here's your certificate. Go go make your first dollar, right. or you do the MBG program, where when you're done in two years, you're make you're doing it part time, so you could still work and get money to come in. Mm-hmm. You have the knowledge to do it over and over and over again, and you got 1.3 million in the bank. So we say, why do you need an MBA when you can get an MBG? <laughs> yeah, but with the affiliate program that I was referring to, people could go through the program because. When they go to phase two, we charge $35. But if you sign up as an affiliate alone, or when you sign up to the program, you become an affiliate automatically. Mm-hmm. And everybody you refer into the program that starts on the payment plan on phase two, we pay out $10 of that $35 to that person every month for passive recurring income. So for every 100 people, for let's say if they want it free, they refer four people, that's $10, 20 30 $40, and the program costs 35 So they get it free as long as those people are involved paying. So right. uh, if they want to make money on it, pass a recurring income, for every 100 people they bring in, it's $12,000 a year, pass a recurring income. Nice. So kind of really cool program, you know, that we've built in for anybody that needs a little extra money for vacations or, mm-hmm. you know, trying to. They're trying to save for their kids' college. Well, this is the way you could do it. So um, wow. we're just – we're passionate about it because it's it's now live and people can start – your your audience can get involved and start making an impact to change other people's lives along with their own. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and we'd love to have people uh, change their lives because of something they heard on, their, on the show. Um, that's part of the point. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, okay. That's, uh, that's really great. Have you had anybody, uh, complete their, uh, their two year program yet? That's uh, the... we're not yet. Cause we're still in the early phases. I'm probably, okay. I'm doing the, the program myself. Okay. And every, <laughs> the one question I get everybody says, are you a millionaire yet? And I go, not yet. I'm on step 20 <laughs> of 28. Okay. And, and they go, well, so when you get close. there, I'm in. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going through it right now. And, but I'm I'm in step twenty, so I can help anybody with it. We offer um, I have book a call on my website where they can get mm-hmm. help. We have a Facebook group where we've just built where we'll have community stuff and we'll be doing bi weekly question answer things so we can keep people motivated and give them okay. fresh ideas and new ways and things like that because um, there's just just a, di- a million ways to do it. Right. Right. Yeah, that's what I, uh, that's what I awesome. love is people go. What what I love to say is people say, "Well, d- does it get hard when you get into bigger numbers?" And I go, "No, it doesn't," because what you can do when you get into a bigger number, you don't have to go from, you know, like five thousand to ten thousand dollars in one big leap. You what we're really teaching people is understanding what the market will pay for something. Once you have that knowledge, then you can go out and make offers and people will always sell you something for less less than market value, right? You just may have right. to ask a couple times, but you'll be able to buy something for less than market value. If you know it's $10, you're 
you could offer five, and they go, no, and you say, well, then I'll, I'll or they may say, yeah, you think you can sell it for $10, but you buy it at five, and it turns out you can only sell it for seven. Well, what do you That's do? still profit. You now take the seven, and you buy something else that you think you can sell for 10, and then when you get to 10, then you log in and say, well, I had to do three transactions to get from five to 10, enter. Yeah. Right? And you can do yeah. that again if you're going from... 320,000 to 640,000. I bought three houses. Okay, here's how I did it. You know, and there's always <laughs> yeah. things that people will pay for bigger ticket items. Yeah, and, and thinking about so it, it, it's it, like it if, you're, if you're trying to go from 5,000 to 10,000, well, you've already gone from 2,500 to 5,000. There's nothing wrong with doing two $2,500 transactions to get to 10,000. I mean, that's you see know. your mind. Your mind's clicking. Yeah. And what you're doing, see, in my th my my three phases. Phase one is rescripting your brain mm -hmm. to get that new mindset. Phase two goes from five dollars to five thousand dollars, and that's where you're getting the expertise that you're just alluded to of doing the same process over and over and over, just with bigger and bigger numbers, following the double right. the, double the number sequence. So by the time you get to $5,000, you've done maybe 10, 15, 20, 30 transactions. So you be, you've honed the skill that you need to go into phase three, which is step 20 to 28 to go from 5,000 to 1.3 million. Mm -hmm. And you, you then, it, so it's progression and you build the expertise and the knowledge of how to do it. And then you just go do it and you go collect the money at the end. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, um, wow, that's all common that's sense. Thank yeah, you. It is. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I really like this. I'm uh, I'm going to um, go to millionaires by George dot com and uh, and check it out and uh, um, and get started because because uh, I could certainly use uh, one point three million dollars. <laughs> well, yeah, go up to the top, go up to the very top and it has the 30 day challenge. But if you look mm -hmm. through the website, the first thing that we, we do, we, we, we ask them, imagine if you could turn a penny into $1.3 million and could you mm -hmm. see yourself doing that? So what we encourage people to do, they, they have to create a picture in their mind of what the photo finish is. So imagine you creating the picture of hitting 1.3 and crossing the finish line going, yeah. <laughs> you know, and what would that day be like? Well, once you can get that picture, because if you think about it, every person that listens to your your uh, your station, everything they've succeeded with and done in their life, it all mm -hmm. started first with them creating a picture and believing they could do it. They they didn't have to know how to do it. They just needed to say a decision. I'm going to do it. And then when you yeah. did that, they send out signals to the universe and it draws the answers back into them and they, and they figure out how to do it then. But the how yeah. comes after they made the decision. Okay. So there's a lot of psychology that we've folded into the backside of this program mm -hmm. that is guiding people through known things and common sense and knowledge and, and the ways to do it. So they just need to decide and say, I'm going to do this come hell or high, you know, water, you know, and right. once they decide, then, then, then all of a sudden they will see a penny. Their brain will be looking, the reticular activator <laughs> will be scanning in the background and all of a sudden they'll look down and typically from watching this show, your people will find a penny within two weeks. Okay. It's just the way it works. The brain will be scanning 24 hours. And thinking about it at night, and then all of a sudden they're going to miraculously find a penny, and they're like, oh, my gosh, it worked. Wow. I listened to his program, and an investor threw some money down for me to start my journey. They just didn't tell me how to, what to do with it once I found it. Right. Now, we're the second piece of that equation. And we're telling them what to do with it. And they can come back and look at the uh, description of the show and find the link to millionairesbygeorge.com. Bye, George. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Well, be sure that they <laughs> be sure they come back to you because I'm going to talk you into signing up for free as an affiliate after the show. Yep. 
so you can give them your link so you can benefit from passing on that great knowledge too because you know, compliments good. to you for making it available to them. Yep, yep. Definitely. That has to be honored. Definitely. Um, so, yeah, so I will do that. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, this is just, uh, it's, it's almost, uh, it's on the verge of overwhelming. It's such a, it's such a big, uh, a big <laughs> dream. But uh, as I've said uh, a thousand times before, uh, the way you eat an elephant is one bite at a time. And so, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, so just break it down into a small enough piece and, uh, and you can handle it. But, uh, um, but no, the, the and penny, the great, the great, the... Uh, uh, people finding a penny and picking it up reminds me of a story. This is something I actually, uh, um, I, I heard from the people who, in, who, who lived it. Um, one day at a bank in New Jersey, um, a, uh, a man uh, came in with this, uh, uh, with in a in a bad suit, um, next to a younger woman, a much younger woman, and uh, um, carrying the couple of sacks, like uh, like the story of your uh, of your family coming to America. Um, and uh, what it was is is he was carrying the sacks of pennies he had picked up on the ground off the ground for like 20 years. And, uh, um, and the woman was his, uh, uh, was his uh, social worker and she was bringing him in to deposit these pennies into the bank because he was going to get, a, he was going to get a place to live and, and all that turned out that to have those pennies protected by the, uh, by the insurance that covers everybody's, uh, everybody's uh, bank accounts, uh, to have all the pennies covered, he had to open up two accounts. And at the time, the insurance would cover you up to a hundred grand. And he had uh, he wow. had his sacks full of pennies, and uh, um, yeah. And so it's possible. I mean, it, it, using your method, it sounds like it's possible to do it a lot faster. But uh, um, but it's possible just by sure. picking up pennies to make yourself your your fortune. And uh, and get yourself started. So uh, so I can I can totally imagine picking one penny up and having that start your fortune. You're, you're, that's a great story. Another fun one is on my website. Um, I have I have the story of how I actually created it. it. It's pretty interesting. But I have another story, a TED talk there, of a guy named Kyle McDonald out of England. Okay. And what Kyle did, his his. His dream was similar, but he had this little red paper clip on his desk. Mm -hmm. And he he said, I wonder if I could take this paper clip and trade it up higher and higher till I could get to an amount that I could buy a house free and clear. And he did it. And he's online. You can look him up, Kyle McDonald, or watch his TED Talk on – if you go to his website, he actually tells you exactly how he did it and all the different – transactions right. he did to to get to own a house free and clear it's a uh, same concept but it's true so yeah. you know again it's common sense it's understanding what people value what the value of things are and once you have that knowledge you know then you can do something with it and then we give a platform that anybody can do it yeah and uh, and it sounds like uh, it sounds like some anybody is going to do it so, uh, um, so yeah, um, yeah, definitely. Uh, this sounds like, uh, like something that you could have some fun with too. So, uh, um, imagine, you, you sit... imagine parents doing this with their children, let's mm -hmm. say when they, when they come into high school mm -hmm. and they could be millionaires by the time they graduate from high school and have the knowledge of never to have to worry about money ever again. Right. Yeah, parents could play it as a game with their kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you you mentioned about uh, the gamification of it all. Um, what's some of the what are some of the uh, the game aspects of the uh, of the program? Uh, so great on when you when you move in, into the test of the, the program, there's lessons, there's steps, there's you know lesson one is one to ten, and when you find a penny. When you go in there, you, you look into the website and you go back and you enter what you did and you submit it and we approve it. 
And then when you get done, it, it just comes out and it goes, yeah, congratulations. And it gives you points. <laughs> so okay. er, every step you go, you get points and you get music. Da, 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 and you just get that reward, which is a stimuli to show you that you're progressing forward. And it's, it's proven psychologically that your brain starts getting hungry and looking for those, those rewards and the thank yous and the, and the points and, and it just, it's fun in that way. And you see your progress all the way through steps one through 10 and then 10 through 20 and then 20 through 28. Okay. Awesome. So it's, it's just, it's just like a game that you, you keep going, but you keep winning. Yeah. It's, you know, it's like <laughs> the kids growing up, they play a game and they go until they crash and burn and they got to start over, but then they have the knowledge of how to get that point, And then they, Merge f- further, right? Right. And that's how they learn. But with this one, you don't crash and burn unless you just stop doing it. But it's always right. there waiting for you to take action again to get rewarded again. So, yeah, we kind of make, make it a fun little game. Cool. Um, you know, bonus uh, bonus activity. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, so go ahead and use that, uh, use that link. Go and uh, sign up for Millionaires by George. And uh, um, and uh, and get started on making those millions. I want to have all my all my yeah, listeners if, if, be millionaires in two in two to four years. And just as a keynote, a keynote to your listeners: if you go to the website directly, but they heard it from you, mm-hmm. then send a note to our support to let us know so I can make sure you get credit for it. Because I can okay. I can edit that in the back end if they're telling me they heard it from your show. So okay, cool. Let's, Let's give the reward. Let's give the rewards where it's due, because that's that's the way life is. Yep. Credit where credit is due, and uh, um, so uh, so yeah. Um, well, this has been uh, this has been really interesting. I'm really excited. To, uh, I'm I got to go outside now and and find a penny. Uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> and um, if if anybody in your audience goes goes to the website. I have a little link down there that says book a call and you Mm -hmm. can schedule a call with me or one of my teammates to help answer any questions or, or concerns that you have about how it works and et cetera. And uh, we're there to help you because this is, this is all a give back to society and we want everybody to take advantage of it because there's nothing like it in the world today. Yep. Nothing, uh, nothing I've heard of anyway. So, uh, okay, cool. Well, um, the website's Millionaires by George, and uh, I'll have the clickable link in the description for you that'll have my affiliate, uh, uh, my affiliate information. And, uh, um, and so you, can, uh, you too can be on the path to becoming a millionaire. So uh, um, Come join us, everybody. We're here for you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having and, me. And uh, um, no, the pleasure was all mine. Um, I always ask my guests before we uh, before we sign off if you have any final words for the nice people. Um, you don't need to win the lottery. You can go build it yourself. <laughs> okay, I like that. I like that. Um, and uh, as always, uh, be safe out there, everyone. Remember to wash your hands and stay tuned for the ending credits. Thank you all for tuning in. This has been a presentation of Bald Spots Productions. I'd like to thank our producer, my beloved mother, Eileen Hatch. I'd especially like to thank our associate producer, Paul Hernandez III, for his contribution to the shows this month. Follow his financial channel, HDZ Financial, on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram to stay on top of the latest financial news and improve your financial literacy. I, of course, am your humble host. I'd also like to thank my special guest, George Ishi. Support the show if you feel so led over on Patreon.com. We're known as Bald Spots Pro. Don't you dare miss YWL Online. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and wherever fine podcasts are offered. Be sure to tune in next time when my special guest will be Jeffrey Zur, who's a moisture farmer on Tatooine. Just kidding. He does make machines that pull pure water for drinking out of thin air, though.
And Michaela Gaffin Stone, a human behavior expert and lifelong nomad who has knowledge of a wide variety of subjects. Be sure to like, comment, and share. You know, subscribe, follow, whatever it is you've got to do to kick that algorithm into gear and help us reach more people. If you or someone you know needs support now, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. That is the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline here in the United States.